Hey everybody, what is going on? Voodoo here. Welcome to another channel update uh, for the week of Monday, October 8th through Sunday, October 14th of 2012. I apologize, it's a little late this week. I'm not getting around to filming this until Tuesday. Um, I had a test last night on Monday and uh, wanted to watch the football game. Unfortunately, you won't actually be seeing this update until Wednesday when I have a chance to get back to school and, and upload it. Um, so I do apologize it's late this week, um, but nonetheless, we will continue, and as always, we'll start by talking about, uh, what happened last week as far as uploads and things to the channel, and luckily a week now has passed, or a little bit over, um, since I decided that I was going to now do my uploading at school and take advantage of their internet um, and I have to say it's worked out extremely well now I'm a little bit late getting footage up you know when I take footage I usually don't get it up for maybe a day or two because I have to wait till I'm at school and have time to upload it however when I'm there I really have no problems at all getting tons and tons of videos up when I'm at school and I'm, it's very easy for me to catch up to the upload so so far through one week it's working out well and just to give you an example of all the things I was able to upload just last week uh, I was able to completely catch up to where I am on Borderlands 2 uh, I uploaded parts 46 through 57 uh, so now Borderlands 2 is up to date as to where I am right now of course I'm stopping that for a while to play other new games but I will be returning to it at some point later this year I was actually able to continue to upload a little bit of Darksiders 2 Still not completely caught up on that game, but I did get another four or five parts of Darksiders 2 up. And then, um, over the past week, I'm completely caught up now on the, on the new release that uh, I'm currently playing co-op with my friend Dave, and that would be Resident Evil 6. And I was able to upload all the way through part 40 um, over the past week, and I was actually finished before the weekend. I didn't even... Um, well that's not true. I actually did have to finish up this past Monday, but I had a lot done um, before the weekend. So, uploading is going really well. I'm completely caught up on everything right now besides Darksiders 2, which I have to just upload, you know, in between stuff when I have some time. So, let's talk about the game that Dave and I have been playing. Resident Evil 6 came out last week. We're doing a full co-op playthrough of the game split screen. Now a couple things that I do want to mention about the actual filming of the game. A few things. First of all, I do apologize if the gameplay is dark, but keep in mind that this camera is really not the best camera to do gameplay footage with. That's why I'm getting a new HD camera for Christmas, but it's not the best at picking up contrast between light and dark, that kind of thing. Resident Evil 6 is a very dark game, so it's really difficult to get it um, to look good on the camera. Fortunately, YouTube has a, fe a feature that when you upload a video, if it detects poor lighting, it will prompt you and ask you if you want them to auto-correct the lighting, which I've been doing. I haven't really gone back and looked at a lot of the gameplay, but my hope is that by auto-correcting that light through YouTube, that it the footage will look good on, um, on YouTube. And uh, since I since we've actually received zero comments on parts 1 through 40 of that playthrough, I really don't know how people are feeling, if they're enjoying, you know, if, if the footage looks good or not. I really don't know, so I just kind of have to hope. Uh, another thing, I do apologize that the screens are extremely small. Keep in mind we're playing this split screen, so there's two screens on one. And for some reason, it's one of those games, and I never did quite understand this, that doesn't take advantage of the full screen in the split screen. It has you know, one screen on top, one screen on bottom, but it doesn't go all the way across the TV. It goes maybe three quarters of the way, and then there's a big black bar uh, on either side of our of our screens. So it makes the screen incredibly tiny, and it's really annoying. And you know, I don't understand why they do that. So I do apologize if you're watching the footage and it's difficult to see because the screens are small, but there's really nothing I can do. I've gone into the game's options and all that, and there's, there doesn't seem to be any way to fix that. So that just is what it is, okay? So as far as the game itself, 
Um, the main campaign consists of three mini campaigns of Leon Kennedy, Chris Redfield, and a new character, Jake. Dave and I, over the past week, were able to complete one of the three campaigns, which is Leon. Now, it took us a very long time, actually, to beat Leon's campaign. It took us eight hours to beat his campaign, which I know is a lot longer than a lot of, the, a lot of other people who are playing the game. It's taking them around maybe six hours per campaign. It took us eight. Um, so I don't know if it's because we suck, if it's because, you know, I mean, there's a lot of different reasons that it could have taken us that long to do it. I don't know. There's, we've had a lot of, of, of nonsense extending the game, like stupid uh, BS quick time events that are causing us to die at stupid times. Quick time events that aren't self-explanatory, so we have to sit there like, like numb nuts for like 10 minutes trying to figure out how to do this quick time event because the game won't tell us. And it's extending, it's adding false time to the gameplay because the campaign probably is only about six to six and a half hours long. But because of all this other nonsense that we have to put up with and bad checkpoints and that kind of stuff, it's taking us a longer time. Um, so at this, and we did 40 parts, so at this rate, if we continue at this rate and don't get better, we're looking at a 24 hour complete playthrough of this game with 120 total parts, which is just insane for a Resident Evil third person action game, which is what this game is. That's an insane long playthrough, but what are you going to do, you know, I, I mean, we're trying our best, that's how long it's taking us. Now, yes, Dishonored came out this week, it actually came out today, um, definitely a game that I'm going to be playing. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to be playing this week for a couple of reasons. First of all, because um, Dave and I, I, I talked about this last week, we are going to be playing Resident Evil through until we beat the game. Um, that way we just, we're on it, we're playing it consistently, it's something we have to do co-op, so we want to make sure this is done in a timely manner so that both of us can sit down and do it and we don't get wrapped up in tests or finals coming up or whatever the case may be. We want to make sure this gets done now instead of putting this off to later in the year and then trying to arrange, you know, we're living with each other right now, so it's extremely easy to get together and do the game. So we'll be playing until we're done. And another reason is I actually didn't get the game shipped to me because I didn't send Borderlands 2 back until last Thursday. Now, here's the thing. I sent, I forget what, Darksiders, that's what it was. I sent Darksiders 2 back on a Thursday one week. Gamefly received it two days later on a Saturday and I was able to get the new game that Monday. I sent the game off in the exact same post office on a Thursday. This time they didn't get Borderlands 2 till today, which is a Tuesday. So... That's the deal with the mail. It's completely unreliable, completely inconsistent, and there's really no way to judge when you have to send the game back. I mean, to be safe, you have to send a game back like five or so days, maybe even six in advance. If I had done that with Borderlands 2, I barely would have played any of it because I played most of my most of my gameplay I played last week. So if I had to send it back that early, I wouldn't even gotten any gameplay. But at least the good news is it really doesn't make a difference because I wouldn't be playing it this week anyway because Dave and I are going to be pushing through Resident Evil 6. Now that being said, okay, I don't know how long it's going to take me to get this honor because if you don't get it in the first wave when they send it out, usually it takes a while to get the game back. But here's the deal. Um, I have decided that I will not be playing Medal of Honor Warfighter which comes out October the 23rd mainly because I realize that the meat of that game is going to be the online multiplayer it's going to cost me 10 bucks to buy an online pass because it's EA. And to be honest, there's a lot of games right now that I'm trying to keep up with, including Dishonor that I haven't even started yet. And I'd rather take that week to catch up and continue on the games that I'm already doing and that I need to do. So I will be skipping Medal of Honor. I apologize if people wanted to see me do it, but it's just a decision I've made. That being said, Assassin's Creed 3 releases on the 30th of this month. So... I don't know. Will we beat Resident Evil 6 and will I get Dishonored and be able to run through that before Assassin's Creed 3? I really have no idea. Um, we'll just have to find out. Play it by ear. We're, Dave and I are going to do Resident Evil 6. Not quite sure how long it's going to take us to beat and then we'll see the status of Dishonored. But, um, but that's more or less what's going to be going on. Uh, I, I kind of seamlessly transitioned between what happened last week and what's coming up. Um, you know, th what's coming up is more Resident Evil 6 and Dave and I are actually going to be going, jump into the second campaign of 3 as soon as I'm done this channel update. That will be coming up uh, after this channel update tomorrow on Wednesday, you'll see that footage. 
So, um, so that's basically what's going to be coming up. But that's the deal with Resident Evil, Dishonored, and all that kind of stuff. Last quick thing that I do need to mention before uh, I end this channel update and go play more Resident Evil 6 is that last week, myself, Dave, and uh, our other roommate and friend Tyler all went to GameStop and we all pre-ordered Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Uh, it's a game that we're all really excited about. We started off being very skeptical of it after Modern Warfare 3 and how all of us were massively disappointed with that game. But as stuff began to surface for Black Ops 2, we really started to get excited, more excited, very excited when the zombie modes were announced and all the craziness that they're implementing with the zombie mode. So we're actually really excited about the game now, and everybody on the channel knows how much I enjoyed the original Black Ops. I have more footage of Black Ops on this channel than maybe any channel on YouTube, and certainly more footage of Black Ops on this channel than anything else. So we all went and pre-ordered it, and the plan is right now, that game releases November the 13th, our plan as of right now is to go do the midnight release the night of November the 12th or early morning, morning November the 13th, however you want to think of it. Go and do the midnight release. We are all fully paid for it, so we should be able to get it quickly, or, you know, quickly, relatively speaking, because of how many people are going to be there. Come back here and do midnight release um, footage. We're all actually, we're thinking about setting up all of our TVs out in the living room some kind of way. and and maybe hopping online and doing um, some midnight release multiplayer similar to the way that I did with um, Modern Warfare 3, uh, but with the three of us. Now, with that being said, that means that I did get the game on the PlayStation 3. And I, I know all the Xbox fanboys and even Call of Duty, they're going to go nuts. How the hell did you get it on PS3 and not Xbox 360? Well, the simple reason of, yes, I agree with you that all things aside, it'd be a no-brainer to get it on the Xbox 360 because Xbox Live is so much better than PSN. It's really not a no-brainer. Plus, all the DLC, all that stuff is going to be out on Xbox before PS3. It's really a no-brainer. But this is a game that I really, really wanted to do this, do the multiplayer mode, the zombie mode, all that stuff with my friends. And the bottom line is, is they have PlayStation 3s and don't have Xbox. So for me, it was a no-brainer in the fact that you know, do I want Xbox Live and the early DLC? Yes, I do, but I'd rather play it with my friends and I'd rather have that experience of playing it with them and not just be isolated and playing by myself, but being able to jump online with them, play multiplayer, play zombie mode, all that kind of stuff and have fun. So the game, I did get it on PlayStation 3 and as the time approaches, I'll give you more information, but as of right now, we're going to do the midnight release. More than likely, I'll take footage of that probably with my iPhone or something like that at the release to show you what that's like. Coming back, doing an unboxing, and doing the multiplayer gameplay, which I will upload uh, on Tuesday at school. And final thing is I did also pre-order Assassin's Creed 3. I will be uh, purchasing that game. Those are the two games I'll be buying this year, uh, other than Madden. And... Uh, I did also get Assassin's Creed 3 on PlayStation 3 because that the PlayStation 3 version has four exclusive missions in the single player that the Xbox 360 does not have. And that's the precise reason I got the Xbox 360 and I wanted both systems so that I could look at games and say, okay, which one has the better content for Assassin's Creed 3? In that case, the PS3 version was the better one because it had more uh, it had exclusive content. So Black Ops 2, Assassin's Creed 3, both pre-ordered. Uh, we'll be purchasing those games, playing them on release day, um, Black Ops 2 on midnight, and so forth, both on PlayStation 3, alright? So that's the deal. On the longer side of the channel update, again, I apologize, but there were a lot of things that I needed to say in the update. So that's the deal. Um, if you haven't already, go check out the Resident Evil footage, all 40 parts, which is basically all of Leon's campaign is now uploaded. We're about to go start, I don't know which one, probably Chris Redfield's campaign after this which will upload directly after this channel update um, tomorrow on Wednesday. Of course, when you're seeing this, it'll be today, Wednesday, but you get what I'm saying. So, all right, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the Resident Evil 6 playthrough and all the other stuff I've been doing. Uh, look out for more of it this week, and I will see you in that gameplay with Dave. So until then, take it easy, and I hope you enjoy the footage.